How did Copperfield, the musical, come into being? I started obviously reading the novel and then I started to adapt, adapt it into a play. And at the same time, and I do this with whatever play I'm doing, whether it's Ibsen or Shakespeare or whatever, I find out whatever I can find out about the person who wrote it. Because all it is, is their thoughts. And um, great drama is is almost a Pandora's box. It's filled with the playwright's thoughts. So I always go to see what the playwright was about as I'm working on his play. Now Dickens was no exception. And the more I found out about Dickens, the more I realized he was actually writing with David Copperfield about himself. It was almost so thinly disguised. And I thought, how extraordinary. David Copperfield, if you turn that round, CD, you've got Charles Dickens. David Copperfield, Charles Dickens. You reverse it, the initials are the same. So I thought, that couldn't just, just be a coincidence. And then I started working on it. So I thought, what I'd do is I'd have him tell the story of this boy, David. Anyway, we did it, and it was very successful, did the tour. Forgot about it, left it at that. So I don't keep scripts. They're done. Once a play's done, it's gone. I'm on to, what, that's not now, that's yesterday. I never look in the past. But while I was cleaning out the cellar, there was this great box that took it out, blew off the dust, and it was David Copperfield, the play. And so I started reading through it, and I thought, actually, this isn't bad. I mean, it was still a thick play. And I thought, I'd worked with Tobias on a musical by that time. And I thought, I wonder if he'd be interested in putting some music to this and turning it into a musical. I'd never done a musical in my life in this, this way. So I met up with Tobias in Highgate Village and I told him the idea. And he said, yeah, yeah, he would, he would consider doing that. You, you, me, would have to write the lyrics. I said, I know Tobias, I, I don't write lyrics, I can't write lyrics. That night, I got one of the characters from the, the play and I wrote the lyrics. And they just seemed to come. Unfortunately, they always came at three o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. So I always had a notepad by my desk and, and wrote these things. And Tobias kept writing this music, wondering when it was going to stop. Well, finally, we think it has stopped. We had to cut so much of the text out to accommodate the songs because it is a musical. So um, it's been a long journey. It's been an interesting journey. Um, and, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Mr. D, Mr. D, Mr. D.